They're looking for the Porsche. So we've got a silver car just coming up there, uh, cruising down the rear of the convoy. Uh, make sure everybody's windows are up, doors are closed. On the only road in the middle of nowhere with no phone signal, the crew were being hounded. They're going to be aggressive. Then, just outside the town of Tolowin, the police told the convoy to pull over and prepare for an attack. We have to move as fast as we can, whenever they tell us. We have pullovers or something, put them on the window and close the window so we have protection. By all means. Nobody stops. As they drove into town, a large mob was waiting. The people on the left, a lot of people on the left. They're everywhere. And they were organized. And there's a truck slowing us down too. The no. truck blocking the right hand lane. It's too slow, that's a deliberate <laughs> truck just put there. They're coming out. <gasps> Okay. The first couple of hits were from eggs. But then, the rock started. Out of town, the crew, two of whom had been hurt, pulled over to repair the multitude of smashed windows. All right, let's have the help down on this one now. And because they were a magnet for trouble, they had to abandon the Porsche, Ford and Lotus. Guys, everyone keep up. Let's go, let's go. Back on the move, they were now heading for the much larger town of Rio Grande, where they were told a mob in some 300 cars was waiting. Is there another way? No, there is no other way. Yeah, can we get on the phone to uh, an embassy? Uh, negative. We've not got any signal on our sat phone. We're still trying. Fearing for their lives, the crew abandoned the road and headed cross-country towards the river border we'd used earlier. The border is totally closed. We know that. Um, there's a, a metal bar across the road on the Argentinian side, and we realised we, we would be crossing it illegally. There's a metal gate on the other side, both of which we could cut and go through. With the police escort hanging back to make sure the attackers hadn't spotted the ruse, the convoy made it to the river, where a few hours later, daylight revealed the viciousness of the attack. This time, there were no diggers or trucks to help ford the river. But after many hours of struggle, our team made it across. And into the welcoming arms of Chile. We are happy to see you. 